my name is Joey Balistrieri. I hope you can hear me. I am not plugging in a microphone because I have a large tray of things that I've made in the last couple of weeks to try on and kind of share with a different vantage point. But um, many of you know um, that my area here, well, all of Florida, has just been through a horrendous couple of weeks with first Hurricane Helene and then Hurricane Milton, and it's been really chaotic. Um, it might have appeared as if I was working right through all the news you were getting from national and, in fact, international media, but my videos are often uh, produced, filmed, edited, thumbnails made, and all of that, um, you know, sometimes two, sometimes even three weeks ahead. So I was really glad that I had done that because in my area, we did not sustain a lot of damage, but we were without power for 15 or 16 hours. And then the power came back on, but we had about 26 hours, I think. Actually, I don't even know what day it is because it's been so crazy, but uh, actually had about 26 hours with no cable TV or internet. And I have family on the west coast of Florida, right where the hurricane, uh, Hurricane Milton hit. And um, anyway, we really thought they were gonna be moving in here for a long time. It looked as if they were gonna completely lose their house and everything. And I'm happy to say that they do have a big hole in their roof and a little bit of water inside. It looks like they're going to have to pull up floors and you know do some repairs but they do did still have a home to go back to the national guard was there literally the next day with tarps and sandbags and um so they are receiving help um so for those of you who you know have just you're inundated with the, the news of this catastrophic weather you can just fast forward through this but i received so many kind, loving messages. I actually felt as if all of you were sitting and waiting with me to see what this storm was gonna do to our lives. And so many of you have family impacted in my area and you know, north of where I live. I'm in the Orlando area. Um, so I did feel as if so many of you were in the situation with me. And so I just wanted to give a little update in my neighborhood, there are still some boards on people's windows and a lot of debris, but we really did not have any damage. We did not have any flooding. I'm so grateful to say that. And then I do have two friends on Anna Maria Island who were impacted by both Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. And um, so insurance adjusters are already there. So uh, when I edit, I'm going to pop some pictures up on the screen. And, um, you know, just because the, your messages and your prayers and well wishes were so just so um, amazing. And I just felt like you were all like really pulling for me and everyone impacted. And I was just so grateful, but I have to say it was really chaotic. My son did not do well during the hurricane. He was he stayed very upset and my cat was not happy. Um, and we had a whole nother family and their dog in my house. And so at one point, my sister-in-law and I um, put on some music as we were, before we lost power, as we were watching the hurricane. And uh, we were singing and dancing, which um, I don't think my son appreciated that, but we were trying to help and we kind of had fun. And we said, you know, one day we'll look back on that and laugh because uh, we, we were singing and dancing as we watched the hurricane approach. Um, so I'm just so grateful to say that no one in my life was harmed. And, um, you know, I do have two friends on Anna Maria Island who really um, are going to almost have to start from zero, but they um, had insurance. And in fact, my one friend who you've seen, I went to Anna Maria Island and did a video with her. You have seen a little bit of her house there. Um, she has an insurance adjuster there today. And I have to check on my other friend and my friend Gail, who I've been to the South Florida bead shops and recently did a video sharing all of those bead shops. Um, her power only flickered. She did not even lose power, but so she's okay. Um, and I am going to give an update on all of those bead shops. I'm concerned about the, the, um, 
the first shop that was in my video that was in Bradenton, Florida, but I am going to get in touch with all of those shop owners and do an update for all of you. It's still a little bit soon. About a million Floridians still do not have power, so it's a little bit soon to start contacting them and, and checking with them. So um, I just want to thank everybody. I did not sit and respond to every single comment and chat the way that I normally do because honestly, I was really exhausted and I didn't sleep. I uh, stayed up almost every night that my family was here for a week watching the news, listening, uh, using um, data to get a hot spot to kind of check in with the weather channel and it's been really emotional and I'm still a little bit off. I've just kind of gotten back to work, but I had done a lot of work uh, prior to this <laughs> situation and some things I really wanted to share with you. One of the things I have on, I just finished it yesterday. Uh, the video will have already gone up on YouTube when you see this, but it is super long. I'm gonna stand up and show you and I even back out because I absolutely love this autumn necklace with the bargain bead box for the month of October called Leafy Landscape. And um, I love the set. It's like got this little sound, almost like a bell. Uh, like it has a charm bracelet sound because it had the, I did these little um, kind of offset and definitely not matchy matchy drops with the leaves that were in the box. I added in a little acorn from my stash. I love the little sweet little detailed pine cones that were in this box. And I just kind of made this, this is like a combination faux lariat, um, why necklace? Uh, I don't even know. I didn't really know what to even call this necklace, but I did also add in some bead stations just to embellish the chain and liven it up. And I did this really long and dramatic. It's almost as long as my shirt, but I really love that. And so um, I just wanted to put that on. And um, so that's what you hear the jingling. <laughs> I just wanted to put that on and show you. Um, and if you like this project, as I said in the video, uh, this is a this is a project that you could adjust the length. You could definitely make it shorter. You could make the drops shorter. I mean, you could definitely change this up, but still use the design. So I wanted to share that. The earrings that I have in are on my interchangeable lever back ear wires. I'm gonna jump around a little bit because I did all of these earrings with that bargain bead box. So literally I have a whole set and the bracelet that I have on was also like a matching set. Um, and I really love, I just added in some little bar, um, there are three whole bar spacer beads or components. And I went, I bought these at a bead shop and I went and searched to see if I could find anything similar. So under this video, I did link a couple of alternatives that you could still accomplish the design, but they are not exactly like this. But this is the little bracelet and I got three pairs of earrings and that gorgeous necklace. And then these were from our Wizard of Oz, Jesse James bead box and I just loved that box. I had so much fun with it um, and I did a couple of drops that just go on my interchangeable lever back ear wires. So, you know, you guys, if you've been around my channel for five seconds, you have seen that I make my earrings with no ear wires most of the time um, and I keep a gold filled, several gold filled pairs of interchangeable lever back ear wires in my jewelry box. And I also have made some interchangeable like hoops that I made myself. And so I just, um, you know, I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure I didn't, uh, I think I just showed those laying on my mat when I did the video. Um, when my bead boxes come in, getting all the videos done can be a little bit chaotic sometimes. So I try to do my photos and things really quickly. Um, it, with that, with that same Oz box. I did this gorgeous little pendant, which, you know, um, I have so many chains and things that it can go on. And I just love making pendants. It, you know, it cuts down as jewelry makers. It can cut down on the amount of long necklaces or chains and things that we have in our wardrobe. So there is that. And then, um, let's see, that was all bargain bead box. Uh, I also got some check glass, a couple of check glass bundles from DD Beads. 
and I have these beautiful little drops from that. And you know, I put those on my interchangeable lever back ear wires or my hoops that I made. And I have this gorgeous coordinating bracelet that was done with that box too. And I had uh, in another video, was this, um, I think this was Dee Dee's, uh, you know, you guys, I have to apologize because I was ready to make this video like two weeks ago and I made the tray of all the items I needed to try on and, and share with you. And it has been so chaotic and such a disruption that I'm honestly looking and saying, um, did I even make that? <laughs> know that I did but um but yeah it's just been really crazy so I'm gonna do my best but I think this was Dee Dee's deluxe bead bundle uh check glass bundle and I love getting that if you can get your hands on that it is just amazing oh, my chair pops up and down but this is what this gorgeous necklace looks like on I use the check glass and I made my own beaded chain I put a little magnetic clasp on this one and it's easy on and off and it is so stunning the little links in this chain really coordinate with the check glass and it is just a beautiful beautiful necklace and super easy to accomplish and then um, I got my um, my Potomac treasure box I'm telling you I am so off from the chaos and the emotions that I'm having a hard time even talking. So I really apologize for not, for being inarticulate, but I absolutely loved the Potomac treasure box this month. It was amazing. And I have to show you guys this other handmade beaded chain or rosary chain that I did because this chain looks as if it has a clasp but it does not. This is a pop over your head. I wanted to just have a handmade chain that, you know, I could layer with longer chains or put it like with a leather cord or just, I wanted just a chain in my wardrobe, but there was this gorgeous glass, um, check glass little, um, like a focal bead that had the drill hole across this way and so I wanted that as well but I thought you know I don't always want a pendant so what I did to make this a convertible necklace um, is I took two sets of pave magnetic clasps and one, when this one is on, it looks like a faux clasp. And since I wear my hair up all the time, um, I can step back a little bit uh, just to show you maybe. But um, I can't tell if I'm even in the camera because my chair is here. But um, it looks like a little faux clasp. And when I wear my hair up, you know, I just have a pretty like accent back there. And when I want to have this as a pendant, I can just turn it around and disconnect this little magnetic drop, which is so pretty. It has a flower head pin and a little check glass flower. And then I have the other half of the magnetic clasp on here and I can just snap it right on. And then look at that. I have a, a necklace with a pendant. So it's convertible to a plain chain or to a pendant necklace, or um, I showed this to my sister-in-law during the hurricane situation, and she said, oh, you could even wear it like that with this as a small pendant, which I, was not what I intended, but it is beautiful as well. So this is a super easy, super fun project. Um, it was, you know, I made every single one of these components, so there's a little bit of work involved, but I loved these prop beads that came in the Potomac treasure box this month. I just thought they were amazing and I really wanted to feature them. So I went and did a further and did a whole set. I did this beautiful little beaded bracelet, just a rosary link or beaded chain and it's fully adjustable. I put some open links of chain on the end. So that's also actually convertible. I could probably wear this as an anklet because I have all of this adjustability here. And then um, I there were two little Athena cast gold plated hearts in the box and I did a little pair of earrings 
with those. And again, these have just a little simple, you know, a little loop at the top. And I put them on one of my pairs, one of my interchangeable lever back ear wires. And I just find these so easy to take in and out. And I just really um, enjoyed making an entire set. So <laughs> that is that is my Potomac treasure box for this month. And then the Dollar Bead Club also was beautiful. And so I used some soft flex wire and the beads that came in with that and added just a few little things from my stash. But in that video, I took one of the butterfly beads and show how to turn it into a button and use it for a closure on this bracelet. And this is so beautiful for fall with the turquoise and the copper check glass is very soft. It's a like a, a satiny feeling copper, but it kind of looks like a, like a metal, um, just absolutely beautiful. And then off camera, on that video, I did another little bracelet um, so that I can wear these together. Um, just another beaded chain type bracelet. It's very classic for me and I really enjoy sitting and just making a lot of components and then connecting them. It's very relaxing. So I did that and I also off camera did this really pretty little pair of drops that have just so much movement and just featuring the copper and the gold and the beautiful beads in that. And as I said, I have a couple pairs of these lever back ear wires that are interchangeable so I can just slide those right on there. I don't know if you can see, but um, that was just like, I just sat quietly um, in the middle of all the nonsense going on with the weather and it did those. And let's see what else is in my tray that I don't want to forget to share. Um, this, this video, I believe will have already gone on YouTube when you see this video, but this was also from the deluxe check bundle from DD beads. And there were, if you can get your hands on that bundle as when I checked yesterday, it was still not sold out but it had some two whole check glass beads in it and they are stunning. The ones that are flower embossed that look like a little brick are absolutely amazing. And then there were some of these little like barrel beads with a gold wash. And I just pulled a couple of things from my stash and did this really gorgeous, really easy two hole bracelet. It has a little bit of negative space, which I always love. I just think it's so interesting. You can see that I tend to work out designs quite often <laughs> that way. Um, and I did another really cool thing in that video, which some of you have seen me do before, but I took a two and a half inch ball head pin and made an earring that coordinates with the bracelet and the ear wire and the earring are all in one. Um, so let me slip out one of these pairs and show you how, um, for those of you who haven't seen, some of you have definitely seen this because it's something that I really love to do is take a ball head pin or a flower head pin, a decorative head pin, and just, it's like all one piece. Your bead design and pattern and it's just a little bit of creative bending <laughs> to the wire. And then when you put it in, you just have your ear wire all in one. And these are solid brass E-coated ball head pins, two and a half inch. So I was able to get a really nice drop and you know have a pair of earrings to coordinate with my bracelet. I do wear necklaces, but really um, not every day. I really love a bracelet and earring you know, an earring set. Um, and I don't even know what I'm gonna wear today. Um, I've done a couple of other things. Like I just sat and made some earrings for me and a friend. I, and these again have no ear wire. And I don't believe, I don't believe that I did these. These were from the Czech Beads exclusive boxes that I get directly from the Czech Republic. Um, and those are just beautiful. Um, I took some of the beads from one of their boxes and did that same thing again, where I just put the the beads, just stack them right on the, um, just stack them right on the head pin and then the head pin becomes my ear wire as well. And I just, it's just something I really love to do. Um, so I think 
let me make sure that I am not missing something because as I said, um, there's been a lot of disruption for me and I'm a little off kilter, I fully admit it. Um, I'm hesitating because I have a really special video coming in November. It is a celebration piece and it is for my friend Vicki Mundy, who if you've been on following my channel months back, I can't remember, six or seven months back, uh, she found my channel and contacted me off YouTube to tell me that she made handmade beads and jewelry. She loved my channel. She felt like, you know, we were soulmates, so soul sisters, you know, and she makes handmade polymer clay beads. And she asked if she could send me a sample of her work, which of course, who would say no to that? I was thrilled. And so she did, but it was way more than a sample. I did a video on the unboxing. She sent me a gigantic box with pieces of jewelry and tons of her gorgeous beads. And um, I feel like I might wanna give a little preview of this piece, but at the same time that that was happening, she had just been received a really difficult diagnosis. And all these months, she has been through treatment and she is going to be coming to the end of her treatment in November, the first week in November, and we, I did a celebration video. It's one of the ways that she wants to celebrate is getting back to making beads and jewelry, and she's doing great. I am so happy to give some good news. Um, and so I'll just give you a little sneak peek of this video that is coming. Um, this is one of her handmade pendants and some of her beads, and I created a celebration necklace for um you know for vicky's recovery and the fact that she so positively has come through this surgery so that's just a sneak peek um there is a video coming and um I, i'm really excited i'm really excited we have stayed in touch and i'm just so happy that she's doing well and really happy that she'll be able to feel well enough to get back to making jewelry so um this was my little try on and update i am sorry for being so scattered and just being all over the place with my words um i we're all just a little bit off for sure and today my son um he my son has missed his medical appointment for the last week and a half and he is not feeling well and we have to go take care of that today um so we're trying to get back to normal um it looks like we will be traveling to venice beach because my sister-in-law and her husband are going to need help with their repairs but I mean it's still is good news because they still have their house so that is that is great and my friend that has the house one of my friends the one that's meeting with the insurance adjuster today um, I know that I will be helping her with the replacement of the furniture because I was her decorator for years um, I've known her for like 15 or 16 years so we have our work cut out for us all Floridians do <laughs> um, pretty much all of us do but I cannot thank you all enough for your sweet comments and your prayers and all of your positivity and I hope that everyone that messaged me about having family that was also going to Im be impacted by this storm because there were a, a, at least a dozen of you that were also waiting to see what was going to happen to your family who were going to be impacted by these these storms and I really hope that all of you got good news as well like I did and so I just want to thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel it would be so appreciated and um, i do you know upload regularly i have a, a pretty rigorous schedule to keep the projects coming and to keep sharing what's in the bead boxes you know which obviously not everybody can get every well maybe you can if you can that would be great but um you know one of my jobs is to show you the companies the suppliers what the boxes are what they look like if you get the boxes give you some ideas you know every artist will have a different vision of the exact same box i mean it's fascinating to me that a bead box can go to a dozen artists and you'll come out with a dozen completely different things. It's amazing to me. I love that about art. 
Um, so that's one of my jobs. But even if you don't get the boxes that I'm unboxing and showing, you get to see what beads are available, what's out there, and you can often take a design idea and make it your own with supplies that you already have, even if you don't get the box. Um, I do that. I get inspiration from movies, from you know other artists, from you know all kinds of places, um, even fat from the fashion world, from the runway shows, and I have already been working on like what the trends are going to be for 2025 colorways and jewelry trends and they are really exciting you guys the article i was reading this morning in veranda magazine was talking about the fact that fashion details are coming to the jewelry industry so for instance um like could uh things that you would see in apparel and in trend like a bow or a collar or some of the like dressmaker details are translating over into jewelry pieces and what i saw was a lot of pearls and um beautiful like um like the details that you would see on a piece of clothing on a garment but but turned into a piece of jewelry so i'm really excited for the 2025 season of jewelry and um the colors that are coming from pantone really excite me they are gorgeous i i'm so happy um about the colors that are going to be trending in 2025 so like i said subscribe to my channel because i do try to watch all of that so that when we're making pieces either for gifts or for craft fairs or for our websites um, that our pieces are relevant and they're up to date and you know we're on trend and people want what we're making so I really try to help with all of that and also um, I do plan to do an update on all the bead shops um, that I visited and so if you'll look in the description box under this video I will link each of the videos from the projects that I've shown so if you missed one um, or if you're new to my channel, like if I, when I've shown this necklace or any of my necklaces or bracelets, I like list the videos where you can find the tutorial for those. Um, if it's a tutorial, I'm funny about that. I feel like, um, you know, I don't know anything. Um, I just feel like I share what I do and what my ideas are. Um, but I will list that. I will also list the video that I did on Anna Maria Island this summer. Um, for those of you who did not see that and might be interested in what the island did look like because it is definitely changed. And I will also link in the description box of this video um, the bead shop trip that I just did. My friend Gail and I met up with my sister-in-law. We did uh, four shops in three days we, and we stayed in Venice Beach and that area is really suffering right now. So in the days to come, I'm hoping the shops were not damaged. I actually don't know anything about the four shops that we visited, but I am going to follow up with them. So if you didn't see that video, I'll link it below. And then, you know, subscribe to my channel and tap the bell notification and a thumbs up is appreciated. All of that support really helps me to grow my channel and really supports my work. So I thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you're all safe and well and you know that your creative work of your hands and your brain and your ideas is helping you to cope with some of these difficult things in life. And I will see you all in the next video. Ciao, jewelry making friends. Hurricane Milton is out over the Atlantic Ocean now. It has left Florida. My neighborhood did really well. It's still windy. And until eight o'clock tonight, we're still under a tornado warning. We have a lot of debris, a lot of trash in the yards. You can hear all the generators running in the neighborhood. People are already starting to clean up and uh, my family had evacuated from Venice Beach. We don't exactly know their situation, but we have some really encouraging news. We're just waiting for more information and we put my son in his wheelchair and we're about to go uh, take a little walk around our neighborhood and see what has happened. I have such wonderful neighbors and everybody is already out. Say hello to everybody and clean up. A little bit of a mess.
but we're all so happy. We still don't have power in my neighborhood. Good morning. Uh, power went out at 11 o'clock last night, and it is 1.15 the next day. We still don't have power, but we're all really, really grateful that we just have limbs down and we saw a shutter off of somebody's house. <laughs> We're going to go back because the rain fans are starting again. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye. All my neighbors are trying to clean up in between rain fans. Um, but we're going to head back because until 8 o'clock tonight, we still have tornado uh, warnings. So we're going to head back. We're walking in the rain now. Oh, it was so good to get out of the house and like say hi to everyone.